the 2015 video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly export a layer, layer design. Now, I've got a design here, simple basic layer, and I've actually renamed it from the default of Ellipse 1 to Blue hyphen Circle. And the reason for that, because I want to save it as that file, Blue hyphen Circle. Now, go to the right side of the layers palette, and you'll see a quick export as PNG or export as. You can use either. And there's also a similar option via the layer and quick export as PNG and export as. Now, just going to use it over here. So quick export as PNG. And then you can actually obviously place a, the file wherever you want. So I'm going to put it to my desktop, bluecircle.png, and save. Now, once you've done that, I can just quickly bring up the finder and there's the blue circle.png file. It's been saved. Now, another option is to go to, and I prefer this one, is go to right side and export as. Much nicer command. So, quick export as brings up a little dialog. And then you've got a bit more control in terms of you set the format. There's JPEG, PNG8, GIF, and my favourite, SVG. Now you've got transparency as well, and you can set the width and the height, as well as scale. So you can say set it to 200. It will process that. You can just see it there. Perfectly reasonable. And it will set you the various canvas size and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to put it back to 100. Personally, I think that's reasonable. And then use the export And it will take a few seconds to come up. And there it is again, blue circle, PNG. Because it takes the name from the layer. That's the key thing. That's why. It's a, of course, you can always just name it as that. But sometimes when you actually come do these exports, you forget and suddenly it'd be called Ellipse 1. So it's nicer just to set them all up in the first place. And just click export. And that's that. So nice little dialogue. Of course, you can zoom in and zoom out. I'm just going to cancel now you can do other i'm just going to go for some type and you can go to layers again and export as and again png you can actually set the size again maybe type thousand now i've actually just still got it as type so if i actually save it and i'll show you what i mean in terms of names are not very good I actually just calls it type dot png so you obviously can rename that to something other than that. Now I'll just cancel that. Now what I'm going to do also, I'm just going to select that one again, and you can save export as, and because it's a vector, it's actually quite nice to actually save it as SVG. And one thing you can't do, unlike Illustrator, you can't actually look at the code. Well, you can edit the code. SVG files you can edit, so you can quickly edit. You can see also see the file size, which is quite small. And of course, it can be any size. That's the key thing about SVG. Great for like responsive design, all that sort of stuff. Now, I'm not going to save that, but it just saves an SVG file, which you can then, let's say, edit or add to your Dreamweaver or so and so. On. Cancel. And you can do, of course, the same with photos and obviously this design there. Right. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.